Hey, what's up, nerds? How you guys doing this morning? Hopefully, you're having a good day. Um, I'm excited to be here doing a shave with you. I'm going to be doing a head shave today, but before I get started on that, I wanted to show you something my daughter made. I have three daughters, and this was made by my middle daughter. She loves art, and uh, the other day she went to the dollar store, and uh, she got all her supplies from the dollar store. She bought the paint, um, and uh, the way the way she made this is she got the canvas and paint there and glue and some motor oil actually is in this and the way she made it was let's one more look at it um, the way she made it was she uh, took a cup um, a, a plastic cup and put paint mixed with glue and um, water to thin it out and then she layered the colors and in between the layers she put some motor oil you know to keep it separated a little bit and she flipped the cup upside down or put the canvas on top of the cup flipped it over upside down and then pulled the cup off and let everything run out and uh, the oil comes through the paint to the top and so it pulls the color through and you can see kind of those um, it looks like a bubble burst because that's what it was the, the oil would come through and pop the little the bubble it would make and so it created kind of a cool layered colored effect so I just wanted to show that tell her that uh, she does a great job and I'm really proud of her and I really enjoy seeing all her artwork so I thought I'd give her a little little shout out this morning before my shave so um, I set that down so thanks for bearing with me on that guys but um, okay I'm going to be doing a head shave today um, I'm trying out something new. So I found this pre-shave, or actually this pre-shave was sent to me from uh, Monroe Shaving Company. Um, and it's a citrus cedar pre-shave oil, but um, John from the Monroe Shaving Company sent me this, the citrus cedar pre-shave oil. And the ingredients in it are castor oil, soybean oil, grapeseed oil with orange, cedarwood, lavender, ginger, and black pepper essential oils. So it's got a little scent to it as well. Um, I can smell the lavender, um, a little bit of the cedar. My daughters, when they smelled it, said it reminded them of a manly Christmas. So it's got a manly Christmas scent. So I'm going to be trying out some uh, pre-shave oil today, see how it works, see if it makes my head shave go a little different. So. I'm going to apply that on. It says apply a dime size amount to hands and massage into beard. Apply shaving cream or shaving show soap, then shave. So I'm obviously going to be doing head, but I'll probably do a little bigger than a dime size amount since i um, got a little more area to cover. So there we go. So I got some in my hands. Oh yeah, and I get, once it was out of the bottle and on my hands, I can get more, a little bit of the orange citrus smells coming through, um, that cedar wood smells coming through, the cedar smell, so, hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out, and so, when I saw it was a citrus cedar smell, I decided to go with, yeah, still getting the lavender for sure though. That's probably the strongest scent I can smell, but like I said, my kid said it smelled like a manly Christmas, so <laughs> take that for what it's worth. Um, the soap I decided to go with today, it's one of my little samples. It's a uh, Castle Forbes Cedarwood and Sandalwood. Since that had a citrus cedar scent to it, I thought, you know, the cedarwood would pair nicely. And this is kind of a, it's a, not an overpowering scent, but it's kind of a muskier, heavier scent, if you will. But it's got a, it's a pretty soft strength of scent. It's not very strong coming right out of, out of the sample. And it's a really soft, not a cream, but a really soft soap. So I'm just going to take that big, that chunk, and go straight to my head with it. I spread that out. I've got about three days growth this morning. Um, and what I'm going to be using is my Maggard Slant. 
I'll show you guys this in just a sec. I'm gonna be using my Maggard slant, and it's got the, or sorry, not the slant, the open comb. I really enjoyed the open comb with the uh, Gillette seven o'clock sharp edge in there. So I'm gonna be trying it again with the uh, feather blade. This is the second use on the feather. I used it in the, I used the feather blade in the slant and really liked it. So I thought I'd give it a shot in the open comb and see how it worked. And. Uh, you know, hopefully it performs just as well in the open comb as it did in the the slant. And one thing I wanted to test too is I know Chris from another cut above uses feathers or had used feathers until he found Kai blades. And um, but he said he only could get a, one good head shave out of them. And so I'm seeing if that's the same for me. I've got my uh, seven o'clock sharp edge on standby already. Um, for in case the feather doesn't work out. So, got a 26 mil Maggard razors. Got a little water in the tips is all. We'll go to lathering. So it's going to need a lot more moisture. I'll start painting on some moisture, painting on some water. This is my first time using a Castle Forge product. I know um, a lot of people really like these. It's a pretty highly rated product. Um, made out of Scotland, I'm pretty sure if I read that right. Um, so excited to be trying it. Um, see how it performs. It is a a vegan soap. There's no animal product in this. So um, I'm not sure if that's the same with all their soaps. If they're all vegan, no animal product, or just the uh, cedarwood, sandalwood is, but. There's the sense building. Um, I'm getting more of the cedar wood, the musky smell from it coming coming off as I'm lathering it. I could get some of the scent coming off, but it's still it's not at all an overpowering scent. It's a pretty mild strength of scent. So if you're looking for something pretty mild, you know they have soaps out there for that. If you're looking for something pretty strong, they have soaps out there for that. Whatever your preference is, you can find you know what you wanna what you want. Alright guys, that was a good quick lather. Um, feels good. So here we go, we got the Maggard open comb, the MR3 handle. Um, no the maple leaf's the right way. With the feather blade in it, it has one head shave on it already. We'll see how long it lasts, if I can get two out of these, or if one's going to be the max. Just trying to test that out. Here we go, across the grain.
far it feels good for its second use. No, uh, no tugging, no pulling. So we'll see how, uh, how long that lasts. Once we go against the grain, it might change up, and that oil seems to be working well. It feels like it's the razor's gliding right along, no issues. So, on my face shaves, usually, you know, the width the grain pass, you can't really tell. It's not a great indicator what the shave is going to be like. I mean, you'll know right away if it's going to be bad because if the with the grain pass is not good, you know the rest is probably not going to be good. But on my head shaves, even the cross grain, I can usually feel and be able to tell, um, like, ooh, that's that's pretty rough or that's not even very smooth. So usually you can get a much quicker indication what the shave is going to be like. So far, so good. No complaints. I watched a video yesterday of uh, Andy the Northern Shaver and uh, man that guy is probably the fastest shaver I've seen on YouTube. He just flies, his, he's fast at making a lather, he's fast at putting it on his face, he's fast at shaving it off his face, he just whipping around so I'm trying to uh, follow his example a little bit and become a little more efficient. I'd like my shaves not to take quite so long and so uh, you know as I do this more and more I feel like hopefully I'll become more and more efficient but man that guy is way efficient so Andy I'm trying to learn from you if you watch this or if you see this I'm trying to learn from you. And there's so many great YouTubers out there to learn from. I'm not going to try and list them all. That's a dangerous game because there's so many. You're always going to forget one. Um, but there's so many to learn from. Um, he just popped to my mind because I was watching him yesterday and how fast he went. A little bit of hair clogged in there. My hair, uh, I had been shaving every other day and uh, I switched my work rotation around again so now I'm shaving every third day. So the hair is a little longer than what it normally would be and it bound up a little bit.
And last head shave I did, I used a Balzano blade. Um, pretty sure it was on my uh, silent shave. Oh, and speaking of the silent shave, um, what made me think of doing a silent shave, nice and relaxing, my wife and I will watch uh, YouTube videos of like cooking, like recipes and how to make something when we're getting ready for dinner. And uh, she told me one of the videos she watches sometimes is this guy, or lady, I guess you can't. All you see is their hands. It's like a top down view and you see your, their hands working. But uh, let me rinse real quick and I'll finish the story. Good slickness on this soap, um, performing really well. The pre-shave oil, I think, helped it, you know, especially with how long the hair was for, I mean, long. It's still short, it's only three days of growth, but that's longer than I had been letting it go for a while. And uh, blade just glided right along. We'll see now, with the against the grain pass, how it does, if it's gonna, you know, really bind up and not if the blade's not going to perform well or if we're going to get a good shave, you know, two shaves out of a feather. So hopefully I can get two shaves out of a feather. If not, I'll switch over to my the Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge that I used last time in this open comb to finish it off and see if that blade can last for two. You know, sometimes blades, you only can get one, one good shave out of them. And that's it, and that's alright. I'd rather have a blade that gives me one good shave than three not so good shaves, so. But as I was saying about the silent video, um, she watches a, a YouTuber who does cooking, and they will uh, do silent videos where they're just um, showing a top down view, and they're. they're making everything and showing you how to chop it, make it, do whatever with it. But they don't talk at all and she said it's pretty relaxing and comforting and kind of just nice to watch. So I thought, so she kind of gave me the idea of the silent video. So hopefully that was a relaxing video for you guys to watch and see and it was relaxing for me, no doubt about it. And um, yeah. So far so good, um, it does feel a little not quite as smooth as the first use, but it's also not pulling or tugging or harsh at all, so it's not, not bad by any means, so happy with that, but uh, to see so far now these blades can turn in an instant, and when they do, you know, there's not much to, you can't really do much about it once they, once they turn south, you just gotta change them out and try a different one, but so far, feels good and smooth and moving right along, so I'm happy with that for sure.
Oh, Chris on another cut above. <laughs> He's been doing his tribute videos, and they're awesome. I think that's an awesome idea and a, a just a class act, just a class move and a class act, Chris, to do that. But the pictures you find just are awesome. <laughs> that first one of Kyle Brown Man Shays was just great. The one of Steve the Suffolk Shaver was awesome. Um, so just awesome tribute. I really appreciate you doing that, especially for us guys who have only, you know, been in the game a little while. Some of you guys have been doing this for years. It's good for us to get to hear new names and go see, you know, new techniques and the way people do things because everybody has their own little flair and style and, and technique when it comes to this. So the more I get to see, the more I learn and pick up from people. So. I really appreciate, one, I really appreciate you doing that because I get to learn, and two, I love the pictures. Just, just crack me up. So I think I started talking about this, I can't remember if I finished. On my silent shave, I used a Balzano blade and uh, went, went well, but it left a lot of little, I don't know if you guys can see them, there was a lot of little bumps and, and just little rough areas that it left. But it was, it was a smooth shave and, and uh, you know, during the shave there was no bleeding or no, but after it left like a lot of little ingrown hairs when they... So I don't know if that was the blade, if that was the that technique I used that was wrong, but the only thing I can really think that was different was the blade. So, um, yeah, and I'll have to give those another shot and see if it if it I have that same uh, experience with a bunch of little irritated spots and and kind of almost felt. I don't know, just just weird, a bunch of little bumps. I was watching uh, Ken Surf's had a video come out yesterday. I think. Oh, here's another little bump. Fill that one a little bit. Just saw a little spot coming in on that. So another little bump up there. Just that Balzano blade just left me pretty irritated. A lot of bumps everywhere. So yeah, I was saying I watched. Uh, um, let's see if I missed any spots egregiously. Watched the Ken Surf's video and he, uh, sorry, the water was still going. Watched the Ken Surf's video and he was talking about, you know, football season starting up and talking about the NFL and LA and, and the teams there and whatnot. But man, I am excited for the college football season. I'm, I'm much more of a college football fan than an NFL fan and I am really looking forward to college football season starting, so. I just fill around for any major spots I miss. That's all of them. Um, new in the back of my head. Just do a quick fill and rub it around. I'll do a light, light rinse. 
Guys, that, uh, so far, as long as this touch-up pass goes well, this feather blade is giving me two pretty good, uh, pretty good uses. I got some, got a little, few little nicks up there because of all the bumps that were on my head from my Balzano blade shave, so, but, um, other than just taking off those little bumps, I'm not, it's not a rough shave, it's not a, a bad shave at all, so. Alright, just do a quick application for my touch-up pass. So I get a bunch on there, and this soap is really, uh, really slick, really good performance. So, I'm liking that. The scent's not, not my favorite. I thought I'd try it because of the cedar wood, or the cedar citrus pre-shave oil I was going with. Um, but the cedar sandalwood scent on that Castle Forbes is just not, not my jam. Uh, it's pretty soft and it's pretty uh, musky and it's just kind of a heavy scent. Even though it's soft, it's not an overpowering scent. It's just, I don't know, not my thing. So, But as far as slickness and performance goes, there's no doubt about that. And uh, I'll have to get my hands on some of their their lime scent because I know a lot of people really like the the lime scent and that seems like it'd be more more my style than this this scent from them And this this uh, blade or this handle has a tiny tiny bit of overhang on the blade just so or this head I should say this open comb has a very very small bit of overhang almost non-existent but it is it's there and it's very very small just so you're aware of that this feather is doing all right I think it is starting to it's not it's not feeling rough at all it just feels like it's losing its efficiency like it's I'm having to go over areas more than I normally would have to to get it down smooth so um, so it's, but it doesn't feel rough it's not pulling it's not tugging it just seems to be losing some of that efficiency which can be dangerous because then you over shave an area to get it smooth which can lead to irritation and so one and a half to two head shaves. If it's, it's so close to being done, I, don't, I think it'll take longer to change out a blade than it will just to finish it out. But all right. So one and a half. maybe two and if I wouldn't have had uh, three days of growth before this shave it might have even handled it a little better you know having three days of growth probably added some uh, wore down the blade a little quicker so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to two head shaves with the feather blade um, and call that good so let me rinse real quick. That feels good. No problems. 
Okay. Kevy saves head wash, so take the extra lather. Right to my dome. Get that on there. And this is a really slick soap. Really nice and slick. Yeah, the smell is good. I mean, if you like a cedarwood, sandalwood, I like sandalwood, so I'm, I'm surprised that this scent, you know, isn't really doing it for me. Because I do like sandalwood, but this scent just isn't, I don't know, just doesn't hit me right. The cedarwood, sandalwood, it's just a little too heavy, a little too musky for me, for my taste. Now, for guys who like that, go for it. So, I'm going to do a quick rinse, and we'll be right. shaves, head wash is done. Um, feels good, feels smooth, uh, I'm probably going to do one use out of a feather blade. That, that touch up pass just was not efficient. The first time it was super efficient, went super well. And maybe that's the difference between the open comb and the slant for these feather blades, but the Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge performed really well in the open comb. But, um, I think all I'm going to do is one pass. Or not one pass, one head shave out of a feather blade. I think it just didn't feel rough. It didn't feel, it wasn't pulling. It just felt like it stopped cutting. Like I had to go over and over a spot to to uh, get the growth down. But, um, good to know. So, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be taking the Allen block to my head. I decided this while I was doing my Kevy Shaves head wash. I got so many little nicks and bumps, not nicks I should say, little bumps that got just little nicks on them that I'm going to use the, the howling block to kind of seal it all up. So here we go, first time on my head and we'll see how hot it is. Not bad on the crown or on the top up here, not, not nothing at all. We'll see on the sides, getting a little hotter around the ears. Um, A little spicy right back there on the back of my neck, or on the back of my head, I should say, which I expected. I expected that to get the most burn, but not not terrible. Nothing terrible. So we'll have to see what the post shave, you know, in a couple hours, what my head feels like after doing an Allen block on it, and I'll rinse this off after it dries, but. Just wanted to see if that didn't help seal everything up and kind of help everything heal up. Alright, Alan's done. Run down real quick what we used. So I talked already about the Maggard Open Comb Feather Blade that was on its second use, and that's its last use for sure for that blade. And I think I'll only get one head shave out of them, and then I'll probably get maybe I'll do a face shave or two, you know, with them after I do a head shave. So, but sticking to one head shave for a feathers blade for a feather blade. Uh, the brush, the Maggard 26 mil synthetic. Love these synthetics, love the size of this for my head shave. It is a lather monster. This Kyle Brown Man Shaves has this same uh, brush and he calls it his lather monster and it is. It's just an awesome, awesome brush. So, um, that was nice. The Castle Forb Cedarwood Sandalwood um, performed well. Good slickness, good glide, easy to lather. Felt good on my skin. Not a fan of the scent. Just the scent isn't, not, not, for me, not at all a fan of that scent. So, if you do like a cedarwood, sandalwood, and a uh, darker, deeper, muskier scent, give it a shot. That wasn't my jam, so. But performance as well. And then the pre-shave oil, the, the Monroe Shaving Co. Citrus Cedar pre-shave oil. First time I've used an oil like that for a pre-shave, and I thought it did good. I'm obviously going to have to use it a few more times, try it on my beard tomorrow. When I shave my face, see how it works. Um, 
But then it went good. I had three days growth and the first pass was really smooth with it and felt good and man there's still some pretty good burn from that uh from that Allen block. But the Monroe shaving code, John, I, I like it. I like that pre-shave oil. So and a good manly Christmas scent. Who doesn't want to smell like manly Christmas, as my daughters would say. So alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. I enjoyed it. Um please comment, please subscribe, please share, please like. Be safe, have a good day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.